Did you hear that new Metro Boomin in Future? What the, you the, don't the trust album? You? The album. Nah, I didn't hear it. I just heard that that one song. With <laughs> Had broken dusty, I still fuck me a celebrity bitch The biggest difference between me and every one of these niggas She with you cause you cash up In a way I respect it, but she had goofy round us Just off the way we presented In a way that shit will always just mean more to me I ain't in the Welcome to episode 2 of the As Told by Podcast With your humble host, Just LaVoe My son to the right Black right. Fly How you doing? How y'all doing, man? How y'all? What's been going on with you, bro? Life Life's been life and life and some made some couple life decisions this week. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I know you told me last about last week, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but still steady adjusting, you know. Regular degular shit, man. I've life been life for you, my nigga. Uh shit, I mean, I don't even know, bro. I just I mean it's just been going with the flow lately, you know what I mean? I but um all right, so yeah, where should we start? I mean, um I think we should start with the hottest topic that everybody's talking about right now. It's the hottest and, topic. You know, did you hear that new Metro Boomin in Future? What the, you the, don't the trust album? You? The album. No, nah, I didn't hear it. I just heard that that one song with Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's now, the album happened? fire too. Yeah. The album fire too. But the record. Yeah. Oh, and I just heard a snippet of the shit too. I didn't even hear like the whole song. Why you think he like when I Cole and Drake though? You ain't do oh you ain't do the whole research on the back and forth. Nah, I mean I understood the the, I understood the Drake shit, but I didn't understand the J Cole shit unless it's just he did that shit out of just like a competitive nature. I say um, it's a storied story. The, yeah, with with the, Cole too. The Drake Metro Drake Future Drake Metro Drake Future. The back and forth between Cole and Kendrick. Yeah. And it's been back and forth for a little bit. Yeah, I'll say that. Well, it's been back and forth for quite some time. Subliminal for quite some time. It's been brewing. They've all been in a separate situation. Yeah. But it was just a convenient time since everybody talking teams and clipping up. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I guess. But I mean, um, but so you don't know, you can't pinpoint like where it started with like him and Cole. I know the Drake shit. Cole and Cole. Uh, Kendrick and Cole, cause he, he I think I'm supposed to eat this. Uh, Kendrick, Cole, um, Cole, Cole, um, he he had a couple lines on first person shooter. Everybody's a stepper. Oh, oh, damn! I I remember, catch that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole breakdown. But there. nah, I mean, I feel like cause I like guess niggas be use it. That's morale like universal the, language now. Morale, right? Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper on Best Rap Album a couple ah. years ago. Everybody's a stepper. I don't think he like. I'm um, you and no me. Yeah, you know. Kendrick the guy, but me and him. You and no. Yeah, he's been he's been poking at him for a little bit. I don't know. I I I don't think that was it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but you didn't. I mean, because no, nah, I'm saying because like everybody uses like the term stepper now. Like I'm a stepper. Like I think that's what he was talking about. Everybody like stepper means like you like. That's not drunk. how Kendrick took it. No, but I'm saying that. I'm I'm saying like from J. Cole's mind, even though I can't read his mind, but I'm assuming he's talking about like, oh, you niggas think y'all steppers or whatever. He's talking about like the universal language of steppers, which is like what, yeah, like a drug dealer or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? But um Yeah, so yeah, I'll elaborate on uh what you were saying as far as uh like what the, what exactly did he say again? Like oh Nick, did you hear the record? Yeah, I heard it, but I don't fucking remember. I heard it once, nigga. <laughs> What do you remember from the record? I just know like he was dissing both them niggas. He said some shit about like, oh, you uh I know he was referencing first person shooter. I know that for a fact. But I forgot like the bars, like like I seen like this whole somebody had on Instagram, he was breaking down all the lines and shit like that. While Kendrick was mentioning whatever he was mentioning. But um Fuck the Big Three, Big Me. Yeah. That's a reference to first person shooter. Uh-huh. The the walking with a stick. I'm not on no not Andre three no Andre three K stick. Yeah, that was the reference. Yeah. For all dogs go to heaven. Yeah, all yeah, dogs yeah. Go to heaven. I know there was all a lot of mentions with that shit. Yeah, like A with the K and the nine. Something with a casket. Or something a with like that. the K with the nine. K nine. Yeah, facts. A K A with the K with the nine. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. All pets will get bet in um get buried in the cemetery. Pet cemetery. Yeah, all, all the, the more dogs. like the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. 
Yeah, I remember that. But um, you better have three switches. Press press them all. You better have three switches. Yeah, switches are illegal. Yeah, yeah. facts. It's an excellent segue. Chicago, uh, Chicago, suing the company that made Glocks because of the fact, and because of the fact that the Glocks are too easy to modify. Oh, really? Into switches. The switches oh, so are illegal. They, they basically doing the shit like what New York doing now, for like certain shit. Cause like you could have like an AR fifteen, but it gotta be like the standard AR fifteen. Yeah, you can't have that in New York. That's your, yeah, you can. I know somebody that has one, but they gotta like. Oh, well, how many? How many? Yeah, I have mad paperwork for that. AR. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, they in law enforcement though. That's a, oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 they don't count. Yeah, Come but now nah, even even with them, they gotta have a standard AR fifteen. Like they can't have like. Like uh, like the what's it like the semi-automatic shit? Like it can't be like just like fucking you shooting like an AK forty-seven or whatever. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. See, and then um, um I don't even think they're allowed to have like you know like the you know in Call of Duty with the little stand and shit like that. Yeah, I don't even think they're allowed to have that. And um, and that whole we don't trust you albums about Drake. That whole type thing is about Drake. You know, I don't what? know why everybody's getting this. This is about a girl. Cause personally, I per- well, well, what's the "We Don't Trust You" album? The "We Don't Trust You," the Metro in the Future. Oh, that's the name of it. That's oh. the name of the album. Yes. Oh, I got you. Yeah. And based off the tag, if Young Metro don't trust you. Oh, you oh, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and earlier this year, Metro Boomin, Drake had their little back and forth. Yeah. You know, Drake looking into the camera. You want to go? You want to go? <laughs> I thought. I thought. <laughs> and then Metro hit you with the response, don't shoot me, Tyrone. Don't shoot me. You know? This what is was that, is that like, what, like meme shit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, gotcha. Right? So that was brewing for quite some time. Mm-hmm. I think that was based off a record that was leaked from a previous project. Mm-hmm. Where Drake was trying to get on it, and he was just like, there's no room for you. Oh, were? Oh, that's crazy. So, yeah, yeah. So that came, that came from that. You know, they, you know, her loss, 21... Yeah. And Drake. Yeah, facts, facts. And basically stepped on for the time to be alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I know Future was feeling some type of way because yeah. fucking uh, Drake didn't work with uh, fucking Future on a new joint album. It just Yeah, he was pissed off that he worked with 21 Savage or Kojo. Like, doing, doing another, another joint with him. Yeah, yeah, doing another joint with him. Yeah, so facts. I stepped on that. So, yeah. you know, it's mm-hmm. convenient. Yeah. Me personally, I think it's only a matter of time before somebody taps. Push the team. What for? Like, was it hop on the record? To hop into the beef. I mean, I feel like that would be unnecessary though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, put, put push her. He already won the fucking battle and shit. Nah, I mean? nah. For J Cole and Drake, the, it's about to be a team up, bro. It's about to be a team up, all crazy. Well, I'm telling you, it's about to be a team up. Well, what is Pusha gonna diss uh, J Cole for? The same reason J. Cole dish and push a T. J. Cole didn't dish push a T. Yes, he did. Where? When did what did he say exactly? What you he about? did he dissed them in previous songs before. It was around the time Drake and Pusha T was going back and forth. But can you reference like a bar? Or like something along those lines? Mean, he referenced um if I if I go out and if I if I diss you, it won't be it won't be the sell. Mm-hmm. It won't be it won't be for First week numbers. It won't be for. It won't be for fame. It won't. For, it won't be for clout. Yeah. Niggas be counting me out. Nah, nah, nah. You talking about all that? That's what That was man. for. That was for Bush. Yeah. That was, that that that, that little think, shot shot. What makes you think that was for because Bush, of the story of Adadon and him dissing Drake and people considering Daytona a flop because of the publicity it got, but it was a great album. Well, you think so? You, I think you think Cole was kicking Cole, for Drake off that all on for a long time. There was a time that Cole was dissing. There was a time Cole dissed Kanye. Forgot Cole yeah, dissed Wale, Kanye, but and that, Wale. That, that, and, and Wale. But he, but the Wale was separate. Wale was on the same song. I didn't even know Wale. about the Wale, but I understood Wale the, the was Kanye verse two. shit because Kanye was acting like a fucking. Nut. Wale was verse two on that song. Oh, really? When they on the bus, yeah, yeah, the whole thing wasn't about Kanye. Yeah. I think the first verse was about Kanye. The second verse was about um um over the Joey Badass instrumental. Yeah, yeah, the um um 
the first verse was about Kanye. The second verse was about Pusha. Yeah. No, not Pusha. About Wale. Yeah. About Wale. About how him saying, "Don't worry about what everybody else saying. You one of the niggas." Yeah. And then yeah. So oh, there was. You. So he's been caping for Drake for a very very long time. They've been caping for each other. They've been caping for each other. They like they had a strong brotherhood, a strong bond for a course of time. So yeah. Kendrick coming out the woodwork saying, fuck both of y'all, I'm bombing on both of them. It's yeah. like, we, it's what we dreamed of. It's like, okay, yeah. the team up shit is pick a side. I, you know, you see me on social media, I'm like, pick a side. Yeah, I don't know. Let's break down the fact that, let's break down the fact that, all right, Future got Atlanta. Yeah. So I think it, it's safe to assume all of Atlanta is going to be behind Future. Yeah, that's the fact, yeah. California, that's that's Kendrick. Yeah, that's a fact. But I don't think Future's gonna go into like some fucking like like rap battle with fucking Drake and J. Cole. But, I think it's about to go there. I mean, if Future did do that, he's gonna lose because Future ain't really an MC. He's like a like an auto tune rapper, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Drake is not really a battle rapper. But Drake can actually rap. Future can't. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think people, I don't think people. Well, most people don't know what the fuck they're talking about when it comes if, to if rap, bro. If you're thinking, like, you know if you thinking future, rap and future miracle, miracle no, you, I'm not going with future for that. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. When it, comes to, when it comes to this song, like, that's future, what you're talking about? No, I'm talking, I mean, there's going to be shots exchanged from the two. That's a fact. That well, I'm saying if, if there's a this song between them, Future's not winning that, bro. Between Future and Drake? Hell I like no, Future's bro. chances. Hell no, bro. I, I, I didn't even see that, bro. Because... Okay, Drake's point of view of I got more money, my money, my money long, Future's money long too. I get girls, Future get girls too. I sell records, I sell records too. I got billboards, I got billboards too. I got classics too. You know what I'm saying? I got a climate behind me too. I got trap niggas behind me too. Trappers love Future. New York niggas love Future. Like, that that like, shit has you know nothing to do with being being able to say something witty on a beat. Uh uh uh. You talking about from a okay? I'm gonna dedicate a whole a whole verse to Drake. That's not future. Huh? That's not Drake. No, I'm saying like I'm talking about like you talking about like basically a rap battle, right? That's what we talking about. Like, a rap yo, battle. we've been waiting. We like for example, we've been waiting like for a, a clear cut go at you full verse or a couple bars would be about you. Yeah. 13 years from these niggas, and we only get a couple bars from these niggas. Yeah. Lucky. But hold on, let, let me finish my point though. We, we talking about a rap battle, right? That's what we're talking about. Like yeah. Between whoever. Yeah. So when, I, when I'm thinking that, I'm thinking who's going to get ethered in a rap battle? That's not happening. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's not, that's not, that's not the era we in anymore. I mean, I, I mean, Drake ethered Meek Mill. Like, that's you know? not an ether. Back to that's back a, was I, an ether. It was, it was entertaining. It he was ethered. entertaining. He, but it's like it's like saying it's like saying you gotta love it. It's like saying you gotta love it, Ether J. It was entertaining, but it wasn't a great diss by any stretch of the imagination. Back to back was good because nobody expected Drake to respond the way he responded and clap back when he clapped back. But don't make no mistake he, about it. Come on, bro. He Ethered in, in that shit. Bro. Uh, the, and he made it. And he made it a club record for and the time Ether, being. And, and there's a lot of diss records over the course of time, over the course of history. The ether to just be the standard for all this songs, but that's because of who was involved in the in the disc, right? But the, the heavyweights, you know what I mean. All right, but let's say for example, back to back was hit him up to me. Nah, Doesn't I would say right. Doesn't I don't fit, know. Right? That's why I said. That's why I said ether. Right? That, but that's different. Oh, yeah. that, <laughs> Pac was talking about like even before he started rapping, he was like, "That's why I fuck your bitch, you fat motherfucker." Like you know that, what I'm that's just like that. I that think, shit was more personal. I think. Bro. I, I think the ever in rap where we get that again? Nah. No, I, I mean, hit, hit him up was like super disrespectful. No, I no, mean, I'm talking about. I'm Ether, talking about Ether was disrespectful too, but it was like within pocket, within rap. Drake getting on the record, dedicating a verse or a verse and a half to another rapper? Nah. I mean, he's, he did that with Meek. Excuse me, yeah, 10 years ago. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm saying. 10 years ago. Now, that's, we'll be that's lucky not to that get long that. Ago. We'll, be, mean, we'll, be, we'll be lucky to get that now. Yeah. But well, I'm saying we talking about the subject of, of rap battles. I'm Drake, talking. Drake, um, because because Kendrick, excuse me, um, delivered a couple um 
couple hours ago one one of those verses that make you shake the room and go like like sense control that i got everybody talking i got everybody speculating sense control and mm -hmm. he ain't have to mention names it, it wasn't a crazy subliminal it was direct as fuck mm -hmm. that we all know who we talking about and we all waiting we all it was even footage of drake in the club miami on the floor he dressed in all white on his phone on his phone and his phone like going off like in live time like we all anticipate wow. what he gonna say he's grabbing he, another drake thing. drake pulling up to a drake pulling up drake pulling up to a spot and um um and the fans is heckling him kendrick better bro kendrick better bro like come on it, it it's it's wwe and everybody's excited and it's way before summertime too yeah, it's the right. excitement we needed for the spring it's way before summertime so cool i feel you but um so that's top oh oh that's all you felt about that that topic um i think i think the i think the metro versus drake is starting to grow to be something interesting because i'm dying to know what is the next move because everybody's saying every i feel like everybody's saying the if drake and cole respond together that would be whack i'm like but they dissed him they dissed all of them on the same record why is that on, not whack? on first person shooter it does I'm, I'm, but i'm saying they dissed like for example they're saying that if Drake and Cole respond together, that's whack. They should do it separate. But they're on tour together. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm nah, saying? I just, it would be whack from like a like a man standpoint, I guess. It, but like, like you could like damn, like nigga, you need like a. It's hard to fucking explain. Um, but I, I understand why people say it's whack because I would say the same thing. It's like, yo, like what the fuck? Unless it was just like some. For one, if it was like some blatant shit, like if like fucking if I guess Future was like name dropping or some shit on records and stuff like that, both of them at the same time, then it might be a little bit different. But being uh from the state that it's in now, and from them to like if they would just get on a record trying to bomb on Future, and it's just they just trying to bomb on one single person, not like another group, then yeah, that's kind of like black and corny to me in a way. I yeah. argue against it. I think Drake and J Cole's response should be on j cole's next album and it should be a hit single and it should be number one on billboard 100. that should be the new standard of these this song it shouldn't just be something we talk about for the next two or three weeks it should be something we hear over the next months two years then should be but, timeless records in order to do that you remember that like a hit him up like an ether like how you remember ether like remember hit him up I remember when Nas was talking about Jay, or Jay was talking about Nas, and we remember it 10, 20 years from now. Like how we remember back to back, you know what I'm saying? Back to back is not well, on the album. But I mean, you know what I'm I mean, back to back was cool for the time being. That's why exactly, I like, yeah. that's why I used that analogy as far as like that was like the ether of like ether and Mr. Mill, but nobody's playing back to back now. Like, you know what I mean? No, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Something yeah. that okay, you will play it and then everybody will sing along. Like that should be the next response. It shouldn't be no bullshit that's gonna be on no B side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Something like that's gonna be forget list about. Or whatever, or some shit like oh, that. and Big Sean's timing. <laughs> oh, Big yeah, Sean's yeah. timing. I know. Yeah, on I all of this. Kendrick Goodness too, gracious. <laughs> yeah, because he just came out with some shit too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, seen, I seen like timing. a couple of the video. I didn't like I had my audio off, so I wasn't really paying attention. Like to use the analogy, all four the 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 everybody in the conversation Drake, Future, Kendrick, J Cole, and Metro Boomin all arguing and bickering. Big Sean get in the conversation. They go Big Sean not right, right now, and they go right back to beef. It's like the record is fire, but stepped on. What a moment, man. Kendrick, bro, damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. I think Big Sean should start asking. She should start asking Kendrick. Are you about to drop this week? You about to drop? You sure? All right, let this drop. Because good boy, he's just been stepping on him for the past couple years now. Oh, Kendrick? Yeah. Oh, uh, you no. Know, I mean, he that record is fire too. He, he should have responded when he should have responded, which was like when Kendrick, whatever, whatever the fuck Kendrick said at that time, like a couple years ago, he should have responded right then and there. You know what I mean, that probably would have helped. Avoid. Probably would have avoided all that. Now they did other it. shit as far as like getting stepped on or whatever. Yeah, they pieced it up. They pieced it up. Nah, you can piece it up, but you can still like, you know what I mean? 
get overshadowed by shit because of some shit you didn't do five years ago. Right. That makes sense. The no. record dropped, the record was fire, and then we just talking about the like that. The beat was incredible. But don't like that? Yeah. Especially mm. my favorite part of the song is not even Kendrick's verse. It's the end of Kendrick's verse. Oh well. That bridge, that little cut, that the that little the little extra he left on the beat. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Somebody should loop that. <laughs> Somebody should loop that and sample that to make that <laughs> I wanna hit that around the hood. Loop that loop the end of the the end of like that. She. Word. Oh. NBA heating up. The NBA? Yeah. You want NBA talk now? NBA, NBA. talk? Who do you got? Um. Oh, matter of fact, before you even get into that, so uh, Kyrie Irving, most skilled player ever? He's one of them. I yeah. think that's a conversation. He's, he's one of them. Depends on, like, he's one of them. It's not yeah, like... Yeah, I, it's not, I, it's I not, agree with that. It's not, it's not a... I don't think it's a, a as a critical take as it is. It's when people be like, "Oh, he's he, even more skilled than Kobe." It's like it's like saying, "Pay attention to me," you know? Why I gotta be more skilled than Kobe? Like why I gotta be automatically that conversation? You know? Is it, is it, that's the time. That's the era we live in, bro. No, like you not, see, you see somebody do something dope, then all of a sudden, like they appear more skilled than Wade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? More skilled than Iverson. Why is nobody it, say that? Why you always got to go automatically to Kobe? More skilled than Jordan? <laughs> you know what I'm it's saying? Uh, like people, it's like, people see like, Kyrie's ball handling and the way he finishes around the rim. Right. You know what I mean? And I don't even think he's the best finisher around the rim. Like, yeah. uh, like overall. I don't even think he's the best ball handler ever. But Ky- you know I mean? Kyrie deserves his love. Deserves his flowers. Especially how we treated him in Brooklyn. He deserves his love. He deserves his flowers. Yeah. But why y'all always got to be extra with the with They always, the jump, hand, the, they always the jump the gun. Hand. Why y'all, old, y'all, why y'all always got to be extra with with the eggplant parmesan? Like, why y'all always got to be eating dick? You know what I'm saying? Y'all be extra. Oh, yeah. Better than Jordan. Yeah, they always jump the gun with shit like that. Bro. Better than Jordan. Most good the whole time. Like, he hasn't oh, even God. been consistent enough right, to even, for people to even say that. Like, right. to me, anyways. You know what I mean? Remember, there was a time when he got to Dallas. He ain't going to do nothing with Luca. Now he balling out and everybody chill with the eggplant parmesan. <laughs> for a little bit, please, please, chew your food, mm. swallow. You know what I'm saying, drink some beer or drink some, Niggas drink some sweet tea. Full. Stop talking with your mouth full. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the nigga why he's playing. Yeah, facts. it wasn't just a couple seasons ago y'all was mad at him for his comments. Yeah, facts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all y'all not, it was like he had a hard time even playing ball because of that shit. You know right, I mean? right. I'm, I'm glad play I games or none of that shit. Even with the, because he didn't want to take the COVID test. Can I play games because of that shit? Y'all forgot. Yeah. Y'all hated the nigga then. Now, now y'all want to be on his nuts. Y'all, we all knew the nigga's greatness. Y'all been hating on the nigga since he said he don't want to play with Bron no more. That's where all that hate started. I dare you not want to play with the goatness. <laughs> don't even get me started with that shit. Bro. Yeah, no, no. But yeah, no, I mean Kyrie's one of my favorite players though. But when they said that shit, I was like, what, bro? I was like. He not like when I think of most skilled player ever, I think of every facet of the game. You know what I mean, I don't just think of ball handling and doing like fancy layups and shit. Like, you know what I mean? And when I think of most skilled player of all time, like if we doing a five, a five of any, we don't mention Russell Westbrook enough. Um. And y'all gonna be like, I think, I think it's over. I, I think it's overshadowed. Skill. I think it's overshadowed by his explosiveness. Skill. Who's a better rebounder than Russell Westbrook? Who's a better passer Westbrook. than Russell Westbrook over the court or over mm-hmm. a span, over the span that he has? How many other point guards you know? How, what are you talking about? Like how stats? Many, how many point guards you know ever of all time is over ten thousand in rebounds and assists? And 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 approaching that 20k point all time and he's triple double king you're talking about over he has more triple double averaging triple double seasons than oscar robertson come on that, that man was magic before magic why we don't mention russell i mean uh, why we don't mention why we don't mention isaiah why we don't mention the magics why we don't mention LeBron? LeBron should be in that conversation. Why we don't mention but a Kobe? As, it's not just a Kobe conversation. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, I mean Kobe, Kobe is known as pretty much like the most skilled player ever, though. That's and cool. and and you talking skill over a KD? You talking skill over a Tim Duncan? You know what I mean? I'm I saying? think KD's skills get overshadowed because he's seven feet. Four. You know what I'm saying a skill over a Tim Duncan. We've seen some skill from not just the guard standpoint. What about the wing standpoint? I think Paul Pierce is pretty skilled. I think Manu Ginobili yeah, was pretty skilled. But nah, Tony he Parker. Was... Nah, but Kawhi, you can't, yo, you can't put Paul Pierce in that commentary as far as most skill ever. I get what you're saying, but with the triple threat, that man was the truth. At yeah, one point. I know what you're saying, bro, but it compared because, well, well, just like the position wise, like fucking as a wing, as a three, he, he was a he was a two guard. Oh no, 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 no he's three. three, yeah, yeah, he was three. a three, yeah, as a wing, mistaken, yeah, bro, yeah, as a two yeah, guard. Bad, yeah, but he he could play the two two, like yeah, nine, but as a three on the on the island. He was yeah. just as dangerous on, on the island. That man, Paul Pierce was just as dangerous as a Melo at one point. Melo was a, a part of the conversation. Yeah, Melo was yeah, in that Mello, conversation. Mello, yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. uh, uh, who, who else is in that conversation from the, like, okay, let's go somewhere from the 90s. Um, KG's in that conversation. What more? As far as most skill ever? No. Player? Skill? No, in his position, yes. Ever? No. I can't, I can't, I, I can't say that at all. Cause that's like a mainly, I would say, I assume mainly a guard thing. Cause like, not because most of the time guards have more in their bag opposed to like a big man, especially in the nineties. I think, and I think, I think, if you're talking about most skilled player ever, that can't just be left to the guards. Most Personal. of the, most of the time, it is to me, just cause like, they, and that's a bias. It's not bias. It's just they actually they they're doing more. Like you know what I mean? Uh-huh. They have more capability. Like you know what I'm saying, I think the big man is just as important. No, nah, we're not talking about importance. We're talking about skill. Yeah, skill. Like Wing. Shaq. Like, like what? What can I bring up? Shaq, most dominant big man ever. He didn't really exhibit no fucking skill like that. A pole compared to like a fucking like Michael a Jordan Kareem, or a Kobe Bryant or, or a Kareem or a David Robinson or Moses Malone. There's other big like no no. Nah, nah, I think Kareem was more skilled than Shaq. But Wilt Chamberlain. But Shaq was just dominant. Y'all mean. I don't, I don't think Wilt Chamberlain was that skilled. He was just David, bigger than everybody. David yeah. Robinson. There's some skilled big men that, that's Yeah, like Tim, Tim Duncan. Like a Jokic. Tim. Jokic is skilled. You know what I'm saying? Like a Joel Embiid. There's skilled big men now. They're skilled, but that, 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 that should be in the conversation. Nah, 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 no top five. No, hell no, bro. I'm Jokic saying. shouldn't be in that top five conversation. Was most skilled ever? Hell no, bro. Hell no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think that I don't think that skilled conversation should just be left to the guard. Not when you got big. I would men, agree with you. Not when you got yeah, big. I would men agree with you point, if, if the point center. I would I would agree with you if the best guards. Uh, yeah, I would agree with you if the best guards were not better than. Man, how can I explain this shit? Yeah, I would agree with you if the best guards were not more skilled than the best centers or whatever the case may be. But it's not like that. I'm not saying a yo. I'm not saying a Giannis. I left the Giannis out there because Giannis is dominant. I wouldn't necessarily call him the most skilled because of his athleticism. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just say that. But what? there is no holes in Jokic's game. He stepped it up defensively. He can back the basket, face up, knock down that three, knock down the mid range. He can move the ball. He can rebound his ass off. Score when he wants to. You see what I'm saying? I, and 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 he's setting up guards. You know what I'm saying off the ball, on the ball, pick screens. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. They they just as important. They doing. You know what I'm saying they just they just as skilled. Oh, uh, and especially when you see a guy like when stats, um, playoff picture, trades, free agency. They, you know what I'm saying? They just put on to what's up. I make sure I do. But a lot of times, put on to what's up because I got a hot take. Like, and I'm he like gonna, gonna go first with his take too. Because I wanna get my natural reaction. If I don't have to do the homework or analytics, yeah, I might have to get my real reaction on it is what it is instead of saying let me. So we don't have to worry about the real problem anymore. I sat there seeing a pregnancy joint. I was like, I'm gonna ask questions. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I be buying all my shit from Amazon, bro. As, it, as anybody should. Yeah. I mean, all this shit is from Amazon, bro. Even the fucking camera. I wouldn't work for them niggas again, but yeah. I still yeah. own shit. Them that shit is convenient. You can get that shit in two days. Why do niggas is like listen? Why? I don't know. Maybe. Like, oh, hate. It's just me. I've never really like been the in the mad rapper. Like, it's like the mad rapper. Yeah, I just never Two K twenty four. I don't it's like, like that old shit. hate. I'm just not into. It. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what you <laughs> said? Really, that's just not me. <laughs> it's like listen. Why? I don't know. Maybe you know. It's just me. I've never really been in the niggas' leftovers. I just never yeah. really been t- into leftovers. I don't like that. Oh. I'm just not. Into <laughs> that. <laughs> that's really that's just not me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, that's just not me. I mean, I feel the same way though. You know, meet a chick with kids and just that, like you know, I'm at an age. I ain't gonna meet no virgin. And if I do, I don't want her. But that don't mean I want the bitch that was with this. Rapper, or this basketball player, or this person, or that person, or this person. You know what I'm saying? Like honestly, when I meet a bitch and she in the mix, I'm straightforward and I said, look, I don't, I may not care, but I like to be aware. Did you fuck anybody I may have knew, or you think I might bump into? And depending on what they tell me, if it's somebody I know or whatever, I'll take the situation from there. Cause I may not give a fuck. It ain't about who you fucked in the past or anything else. I just don't like being messy and mixy. I, I'm that nigga, so and yeah, and you hear a lot of times. Messy and mixy. Yo, killer, you know I fucked that. Yeah, it's my go, man. <laughs> it's my turn. You know, I'm not, I don't really care about that. But yeah. when it starts getting mixy and messy, yeah, when you nah, when you want to worry about it, yeah, that's it. That's it. Then when you ain't got no type, I can't. It's I lose respect mm-hmm. for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, murder? Type. Put it back. Yeah. You, you know, I know how you can't go from filet mignon. Hot to, take coming. To, to tuna fish. Now, don't get me wrong. You mean. <laughs> what are you saying about tuna fish? Like, nigga like me, I can't have a steak. I ain't saying nothing about no damn tuna fish. Nah, I can't run. You, you know, I know how you can't go from filet mignon. Uh, to, to tuna fish. Now, don't get me wrong. You may not want filet mignon every night. Nigga like me, I can have a steak every night, but I want a bologna sandwich every night. That's just me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's killer. So I'm just trying to say, when it's mixy and messy, I don't care. But I, when it's public shit, nah. nah. It's, and, then, and then you got to think about it, right? And I have a few females in my life that, that people know about. And a lot of times, if you don't know who they are, and then you know who they are because of me, you'll be like, yo, think about that, right? You'll be like, yo. Yo, look at Shorty, she over there with so-and-so. Who that? I'm just using fake names right now. But that's Tamia. Yeah. That's Tamia. What she do? Yeah. What she do? Oh, no, that's Camo joint. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's where niggas know you from. You <laughs> <laughs> loud, why you yelling to the mic? You loud, why you yelling to the mic? The next nigga get excited about that. <laughs> Yo, you, you know a nigga like that too. <laughs> oh, you, like he said, like the when like you be out and about and like say like say I pull up with a joint and then like not me and then niggas like see me with her and shit like friends and shit. You like yo like who that you with? Oh, that's a matter of fact. Damn, I'm getting a story. Wrong. Matter of fact, let me just play this shit back. It's only like ten seconds. I got that shit from the Eminem. When you responded to the machine gun, I was said that she was funny. You lie, why you yelling to the back? Why you yelling to the back? That well, that people know about. That's what I'm And a lot of times, if you don't know who they are, and then you know who they are because of me, you'll be like, yo, think about that, right? You'll be like, yo, yo, look at Shorty. She over there with so-and-so. Who that? I'm just using fake names right now. No, that's Tamia. Yeah. That's Tamia. What she do? What she do? Oh no, that's Camo joint. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's and he said like, oh, that's Camo <laughs> joint, and then <laughs> you have a friend and get excited about that shit, like, oh, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> not. And then the next nigga yeah. got excited about yeah, it. Yeah, you got niggas like that. that. <laughs> Oh, that's my old joint. Oh, that's Yo, I, I can't, I can't wait to click Cam's old joint. Like that shit do sound crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know niggas like that too. Oh, let's popularize. Let's popularize the trend. If we haven't dated, if we haven't dated, if you or your ex haven't dated in the five to ten year span, the five to ten year span, that gap. You know what I'm saying? That five to ten year span. You feel me? That 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 ex history is deleted. Let's popularize that too. By the way, because since we on the topic, oh that's such and such old joint. If it's that five to ten years span, I'm sorry. We were friends. Wait, say that again. Say that again. Let's popularize the trend of if you haven't dated your ex for five to ten years. You can no longer claim them as your ex. Yes. Yeah, friends. If acquaintances, associates. I haven't even had a conversation with any of my exes in like after five, ten five, years. years. After five, ten years, me and exes no more. And that history is absolved. What you yeah. think? Yeah, I mean, what you I mean it, dep it depends, bro. It depends, like if it was like a. Even though it don't matter, like maybe if it was like a, I'm saying like a high school sweetheart or some shit like that. Yeah, I've been broken up five to ten years. That is not your ex no more. We friends. If, well, if you so, to, so if somebody else jump on it, it's so, like like somebody. You know. If I haven't dated her in five ten years, that is not my ex. That is my friend. Yes, mm -hmm. but, but where you going with it though? That's it. Oh, I thought you were trying to say, like, oh, so if a friend, like, so, like, if, like, one of your friends dated some shit, like, 10 years ago, after five years, then it's fair game for you to have five to 10 years, after five to 10 years, let's popularize the trend of, if you haven't dated your ex for five to 10 years, you can no longer claim them as your ex. You know what I'm saying? Let's popularize the trend of, if you haven't dated your ex for five to 10 years, if we haven't dated, if we've been broken up for five, 10 years, we don't, we are no longer exes. We're friends. If we're not friends, then we're acquaintances or associates. Former associates. Yeah, I thought you were going Former somewhere else. Workers. I thought you was going to say like, oh, like <laughs> former co-workers. If, if, if niggas was broken up for like ten years and then you try to uh, and like and that's like your friend. We haven't dated in five years. Well, hold on, let me, let me get this out. Let me get okay, this out. Yeah. I thought you were trying to say like, oh, like say if uh, like I dated a chick like ten years ago, and then like you seen her ten years down the line, and we was like, oh yeah, I'm about, I'm about to hop on it now. But, no, but but because like we haven't dated in ten years, now it's free game for you to hop on it. I thought that's what you were trying mm -mm. to say. Yeah. You know how they see you on the spot. The joint that you may, the joint that you may have been, you know, what I'm saying cozy with. Yeah. Joint, the joint that you may have been cozy with for, let's say, you know, what I'm saying for like three months, six months out the year, and then you know, what I'm saying, and then you know, not mutually, not mutually far yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Five years later. You can't still claim me as your work, oh, as, I mean, as, as past work. Especially, especially if you only dated for like three to six months. That's crazy, bro. I won't, I won't even claim that shit like mm -hmm. the next day, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? As an example, as is an example, yeah. if we dated, not even putting titles on it. Yeah. If we was cozy for three to six months, maybe not. Let's say, let's say not for the sake of conversation. Mm -hmm. If that was nine months, five years ago. Five years ago. Ten years ago. 15 years ago, etc. We are no longer exes. We are acquaintances, former co workers, associates, friends, any of those titles. I broken dusty, I still fuck me a celebrity bitch. The biggest difference between me and every one of these niggas, she with you cause you cash up. In a way I respect it, but she had goofy round us just off the way we presented. In a way that shit will always just mean more to me. I ain't in the trick and